zijn op walking dead fans hier. Dat kan iets beter. Op zijn op walking dead fans hier. Mag ik van harte welkom heten, Mr. Lenny James. Real. Um, it is certainly made out of wood. It was made. 
made out of mahogany, but we had to change it because I kept breaking them. Um, so now it's made out of ash. We do have different versions of it for when we're doing the stunts, so I don't hurt the stunt people. Um, so we have a kind of uh, one that's kind of um, harder rubber and one that's softer rubber. But um, mostly it's a real wood staff that, um, that I use. And also um, uh, the deal I made with the guys when we started to work with the staff was that um, organ is only as good as I can be. So I didn't want anybody coming in making me look better than I actually am. So every time you see the staff being swung, I'm doing it, nobody else. Okay, um, I'm sorry Maurice. Um, can, can you say hi to my father-in-law who is recovering from cancer? His name is Hans. Hans? Yeah. Absolutely, hold on one second. <laughs> he wanted to be here, but he's recovering. Hey Hans, this is going to be very weird because I'm speaking to you on a microphone and I'm right here. You look after yourself, do everything your doctors are telling you to do, and hopefully the next time I'm here, so are you. Look after yourself. Alright, thank you. 
Thank you. Hi, I have a question. What is it like to work with the incredible Greg Nicotero? Greg is fantastic. He's a lot of fun. He, um, I think he kind of does every single job on the show now. He's a producer, he's a director, he uh, obviously does, um, he's the head of all of the special effects makeup. I think he sweeps the floor, I think he does the catering, and uh, a couple of mornings he does my makeup. So um, I don't think there's a job on it at the moment that he doesn't do, but um, he's great being around and his team are fantastic. They're a bunch of strange misfits, but they're a great bunch of people. I mean, Greg is, um, has fast become the kind of center of our show. Him and Scott are what our show is kind of built around. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. My question is, um, what is your favorite scene of The Walking Dead, actually? Um, favorite scene that I've been in or the favorite scene that I've watched? That you have watched. Um, the favorite scene, I think, um, that I've not been in, but some of the other actors is, is uh, I think it's season four, might be season five, but it's when Carol and Daryl have been split for a long time and when they come back together again. All right, thank you. Thank you.
they eat, we'll wait for a moment and make sure their parents are there and their chaperones there. I mean, the kids on, the, on most film sets come with more of an entourage than Michael Jackson. I mean, they're just, everybody's there looking after them. And um, so we'll shoot them and then uh, we will, um, they will go home and then we, we will, um, the, the rest of the people will act the scene so that they're not witness to anything that is um, unpleasant. Okay, thank you. No, they're very, very um, well looked after and their parents are, are there. Hi, um, I have a question um, about the relationship between Ezekiel and Morgan. Uh, we have seen that Ezekiel uh, trusts Morgan a lot, uh, quite soon. Uh, and I was wondering if maybe you can shed your light on that and maybe some background as to why that is. So we seen that a quick, uh, a few episodes back, we break in uh, ask Ezekiel, let's go to war, and he kind of put it on Morgan to make the final decision. And I was just wondering, well, yeah, what was your view? relationship between Ezekiel and Morgan is kind of uh, a mirror of the relationship that um, Rick had with Deanna. Um, in both cases, they are meeting, Ezekiel meeting me and Deanna meeting Rick, are meeting people who've been outside the wall, you know, who've been on the other side of the barrier. Um, Morgan's been out in the world. He knows things that Ezekiel excuse me, that Ezekiel doesn't know. So um, I think he trusts him because he recognizes the man he is, um, uh, but also he is aware of his own experience that he's survived and he can benefit from, from it and that's, that's what their connection is. All right, thank you. Great. Thank you. Question. Actually, it was a lot of fun. Um, one of my close friends 
um, when I was at drama school, when I was training to be an actor, was taken out of drama school early to do um, to play Marius on the West End stage in the musical. So we all went to see it. So um, I knew every single song from the musical, but um, Liam Neeson, um, who was in the film, uh, didn't like the musical and didn't like us singing it. And, um, and the minute someone says to you, don't sing Les Miserables, it's all you can sing. So you're const I was constantly walking on the set, singing some of the songs, and then being dragged away before Liam heard it and got angry. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hello. I have a question about your scenes with Carol. They were quite intense. How was it shooting those scenes? Um, those are the best days of work. <laughs> Melissa is a... If you ask anybody on our set, anybody who comes to work on our show, if there was one character, one actor that you wanted to work with, I would bet that 90, 95% of people would say Melissa. <laughs> and, and then the other 5%, I don't know who they'd say. But... Um, so for me, it's just great. And they're easy. They're really easy, easy days at work because she knows what she's doing. I kind of know what I'm doing. We don't spend too much time chatting about it. We just get on with it and see, and just wait and see what the camera sees. So they're very easy, very enjoyable, um, lovely days on set. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Um, I want to know how you get rid of your accent on the show. Because we don't hear Um, I don't think of Morgan as me with an American accent. It, there's a lot of things about Morgan that are different. He dresses different to me. Um, you know, he's, he's got a different way of thinking than I do. And he talks differently to me. So I don't think about it as me putting on an American accent because it isn't just an American accent. It's a very specific accent. He's from the South. He's from Georgia. Um, but he's a man who has some education and kind of um, uh, was a man who had his own business. So he's going to speak in a particular way. And once um, I kind of benefit from the fact that we film in Atlanta and in Atlanta, most of the people speak like me. So I mean, speak like Morgan needs to speak. So I just go out. I'll tell you what I do, but don't tell anybody. Right. So just between me and you, what I do wherever I go, um, I go to the barber shop because in the barber shop there are men who look like me who are going to talk in the way that I need to talk. I put my headphones in and plug it into my phone as if I'm listening to music but what I'm actually doing is recording the room and I record the men as they talk and then I listen back to it and I find the voice that I think is mine and that's how I find the voice of my character. Okay. Thank you. Don't tell anybody. No. some of the great roles. I'd like to play Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman. I'd like to play King Lear. I've already played Macbeth. I'd like to do Richard II. I'd like to do some grand old parts. And putting all of those aside as just who me, the actor, would like to be. Me, the kind of 10-year-old boy who would like to have my dream part. I would like to have been, and I would like to be, possibly in the future, Blade. cinematographer, the, uh, the DOP. 
it's a world that I, I just don't see the world in the way that um, great photographers, great cinematographers, great DOPs do. They see light in a way that I don't see light. They manipulate light in a way that I have no understanding of. That's the way that is most, that's the thing that most impressed me. And it's the thing that I have least understanding of on the, on the set. And um, if I could, that's the one I'd most like to do, I think. Thank you very much. Thank you.